It is 90 degrees outside with a low tonight of 72 and a high today of 99. It's 10.56 in the morning in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm the fastest man alive. Welcome to Coffee and Co-op, ladies and gentlemen. This one is going to be the most painful series of all time because we can't win because Stepman is, frankly speaking, extremely hard to play with until you have him basically fully cracked out. We did get the Baneling upgrade, so we'll try to make this one go through. But if you like Stepman, you are in good company because we're probably going to have a million episodes with him due to how long it takes to get to get it going. Uh, how you doing so far, Nate? You had a good Monday start? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I woke up, cleaned up the dog's uh, mess, you know. He found another napkin in the middle of the night spread all over the entire apartment, as as he usually does. And yeah, is that it? That's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So it was just um, a completely uneventful morning. I had a Quaker Oats uh, apple cinnamon low sugar variety oatmeal. One, I had one packet of it, one the nice little 120 whatever calorie packet of oatmeal for breakfast. That was great. And I've got my, I've got my super coffee here with uh, my 10 grams of protein and only 80 calorie BS, whatever. You think Blizzard has some cool stuff in the store for SC2 at BlizzCon online? Um, no, probably not. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this BlizzCon online thing, so I don't I don't have anything I can say. I'm just gonna assume there will be nothing StarCraft related. Um, maybe if you're lucky, they'll do like a little online show match or something. But uh, that'll probably probably not have me involved. I have a feeling their budget for anything StarCraft related at BlizzCon is gonna be. I I don't I don't actually like I said I don't actually know. I don't know. Let's let's not go down the the negative Nancy road here. We all we all kind of know Activision doesn't care, but I'd rather talk about something that isn't that. That isn't that. I would much rather talk about literally anything other than that, because <laughs> I don't have anything good to say. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, uh, StarCraft Two to Blizzard is much like franchise mode is to EA Sports. You know, it's not what makes them money, so they don't update it. They don't really, that's, you know what I mean? And if, if we made as much money as Ultimate Team did, then we'd probably get more love, but we don't, so we don't. Uh, at least this map is going to be one of the easier ones to do Stepman on, right? Because his Hydralisks are very good. And I can still get Spores, right? Spores are really good. Spore Crawlers are some of the best uh, static defense in all of StarCraft. Especially since I believe Stepman's Spores can just be put anywhere, right? Basically anywhere. This map is also just a lot easier for Stet Fields because it's uh, it takes a significantly lower amount of time to cover the map in Stet Zones. Or the Stetalites. It takes a lot less time to cover the map in Stetalites. Just because the points of interest that you want to have your stuff on, right? It's just here, here, here. And then after that, you might as the only other thing you really need to do with Stet Zones or Stetalites is to slowly push them into the enemy territory, which isn't isn't even it's not really necessary let's be honest it's not necessary to do that you don't have to do that if you want to take it slow you can you can take it slow might as well just mega power economy right gary will be out in time for the first wave i mean if the color looks really weird i've actually started to use uh windows hdr on this monitor and it actually does look pretty nice i've uh i, I started messing around with some of the settings on it because some of them made it look a little overwashed out or saturated but it's not like the real, real HDR, you know, it's like, it's like the fake HDR that everybody has, but I think the wider color range, at least part of it is like, uh, it looks a lot more like my phone screen now, if that makes sense, which is nice. I like it when the colors pop, not too much, obviously, but I don't know. I don't, I don't like bland, low color, uh, stuff. Uh, thank you for that. Oh, thank you for the seven month resub Arctos quest. I appreciate that a lot, brother. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, yeah, yeah. You know, I, my, my thing is I'm, I'm trying to find new ways to kind of expand what I'm doing. And, uh, it's hard to grow content inside StarCraft because, you know, it's a small scene. When people make up their mind about you on stuff, they don't usually change their mind. Not that, not that that's like 
an impossible thing to overcome. It's just there's also a very limited audience and stuff. So I'm trying to think about other things I want to do more. I tried to play this Among Us game, and I think it's kind of laggy. It's I get why it's fun, but I'm like, I don't think I could try to stream this game a ton, if that makes sense. I'm like, I don't, I don't really think that that's something that I'd be interested in doing or trying to do, right? So... That's been a lot of the uh, the things that I've been spending my time on. Just trying to think about other ways I can try to make good content or do different types of things that um, will still be nice that people will enjoy. It's just hard. I'm burning out on StarCraft ladder stuff again because I started playing too much when I lost all my work. I was like, I was like, well, most people watch me play StarCraft, so I'm gonna try to only play StarCraft for a bit because. Uh, not getting hired for casting events anymore because there aren't any events to cast anymore is a bit of a that's a bit of a, of a, str the, a struggle on the old financeries but have been actually starting to get some more of those online gigs with like dreamhack and whatnot so as long as that keeps going and uh i'm actually getting signed on for season three as well the the next season of the dreamhack fall masters they want me on that so i'm excited to be a part of that too and I'm like, as long as that stuff can kind of cover me ish, then it should be good. Should be good. Why don't I play PUBG anymore? Because <laughs> because those developers didn't support the game, man. I don't want to play any game that isn't actually actively supported by their devs. Adding skins and unoptimized maps doesn't really qualify, you know. If PUBG was like, hey guys, we know performance in our game sucks and we can't fix it, but we added DLSS. So that you guys can all get better performance if you have modern graphics cards. Then I'd be like, now you have my attention. You know? But I don't really like playing games that run like crap. So. I don't know. I'm getting pretty decent at Warzone, though. I've literally been playing that probably three hours plus a day every single day for the lot, like, since quarantine started. I'd like to play more COD. Just gotta have a good group of people to play it with. Because I even I don't really enjoy playing solos that much. So, there's, you know, there's varying degrees and degrees and variants. Ooh, ooh. I have the volume a bit low in the game there. Let's turn that up just a smidge. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's hard because I really like StarCraft, but if I if I play too much of it nowadays, I just get really bored because the games are too repetitive. It's kind of a hard thing to, to explain sometimes, but yeah. An enhanced mecha swarm is a happy mecha swarm. Yeah, but the speed boost is too nice for my economy. Sorry. Yeah. It's not like I don't like playing StarCraft. It's just there are parts of the game that are so frustrating that it makes me want to take longer breaks than I do, I guess. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to get a non-Zerg champion for this season final of DreamHack. I was, of course, wrong, as, uh, as usual. Oh, okay, that looks like a Stedalite. Those things look just like Stedalites. I'm like, wait a second. Why don't I have a zone here? I'm like, where's my Stedalite zone? Where is it? Where is she? All right, let's get a Hydra Den. We'll get the rest of our, rest of our Ling upgrades. Get the Bane Ling upgrades. I'll just build as many Hydras as I can and cram as many. I'll build as many Hydras as I can. Stepman always runs out of larva, so let's just get a couple extra hatches. But yeah, I always, always run out of larva when I play Stepman. Stepman's overlords don't poop creep, though. And that makes me sad. I don't really know why it bothers me, but I wish Stepman's overlords could poop creep. A wave of shuttles has been shot down. Of course. Got him. Yeah. But as long as casting stuff ke keeps picking up a little bit, it'll be nice. I dream of the day where things go back to normal a little bit more so I can just go back to how things were last year. I think last year was, was really fun. <laughs> last year was really, really fun. We just primarily switched our focus from streaming to casting, and then we got to play whatever we wanted on stream, which was nice. I want to go back to that. It's just hard when there's no events, right? The bad guys are getting closer. Defensive drone initiated. Oh! 
Just hold everything with Gary for about five minutes, Nate. No big deal. Just literally don't do anything other than use Gary. Oh, yeah. These lings are good. Sometimes I forget that units do, in fact, spawn with a goner, G. He left the game. Wow. After he started this base? What? What? Status report. Evolution complete. Your swarm's totally jacked. Your swarm's totally jacked. Uh, I guess I just want to get the Spec Ops Ghosts, right? Because those are the most cracked units in the game. We need more minerals. A warp conduit is powering up, and a wave of shuttles is bearing toward it. I mean, I do appreciate taking that, I guess. Sensors are optimal. Might as well, I suppose. That last. X no months. Yeah. Have you ever considered being a voice actor? I have you ever considered being a popular YouTuber? I, I've considered a lot of things. It's not quite as simple as like, oh yeah, just be a voice actor, you know. That's actually a it's a pretty that's a pretty brutally difficult industry to get into. I had one guy who offered to help me get into voice acting. But that was total biscuit, so I don't uh, don't really have any other friends that are uh, that that big in any industry like that for opportunity stuff. It's a bit unfortunate on that one, right? For a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. This would be easy though, having all the Nova units. I realized that I got the Hydras, but I also did not really get... I got the Hydras, but I did not actually get uh, <laughs> any attack upgrades for them. I'm like, all right, I guess I guess we are a little bit overloaded upgrade-wise on the wings. Am I not covering any spaces? Let's just get all the paths. This is what I was talking about with the Statellite Zones, though, right? Because you just have so much to, to go with here. So is this the first production building gets the faster charges? I'm assuming that that's the barracks because there's no starport and we've got these Not little ghost guys. Minerals. Oh, yeah. Well, these ghosts just wreck everything. Yes, Egon. Just keep spreading. So this one gets tricky, right? Because I got to protect Nova both. Here. Usually they only send like one actual real production wave there in that direction, though. Let's get the plus three. This guy had like all this stuff set up. Stay this guy had all this stuff set up and just God. never did anything with it. Those jerks want to destroy our home. Do not let them. Easy. Shuttle eliminated, commanders. Whew. Oh now no. Robo friends really need a nap. Scan complete. With all those snipes. They would have been lost without you. So it's true what they say about the best offense. Should we do? Maybe this guy just doesn't like how much the game lags when there's a Stepman in the game. You have to have a good computer to, to have a Stepman teammate, I suppose, sometimes. <laughs> Let's see. Might as well. Oh my god, we have so many ghosts. I love it. When, when Gary says listening, all I hear is glistening. They won't escape from me. Of course. Mutations complete. What? I am listening. 
I am glistening. I guess, yeah, like, like I said, on this map, just Stepman Hydras is, is honestly enough. You don't really need much else. You don't really need much else. Although, I will not complain about having the healing Raven guys. Those guys are pretty sick. Yeah. Especially because those do the healer guys follow. This guy's like, yeah, I just didn't really feel like playing anymore here. Doesn't heal buildings, does it? No, that one's just doomed to die. Doomed to die. Doomed to die. Satellites do provide vision though, which is nice. I guess there's certain mutators that that would help a lot on. Now we just chill. Now we just chill. I can't build the ultras or anything, so. Report. Let's build the banelings because why not? Why not? Main objective: a wave of shuttles inbound on an active conduit. They can't run from my speedy robo buddies. No one can. Your friends are in a bit of a pickle. And that heal is actually really nice, though. Those banelings are cracked. Well, I guess when you're this rich, it really doesn't matter. One more wave to go, right? The enemy must be crazy to think they can beat my mecha swarm. We've gathered the data we need. Thank you for the escort commanders. Nicely done! Nicely done! Yeah, you. Oh my god, the cooldowns are crazy slow on the other buildings. Holy crap. That's fine. If you got an infinite amount of freaking super ghost guy, dude, people, things. Ah, cops still going on. Yay, sub profit of convenient truth. How you doing? And that Jets game last night was pretty depressing. You know, even for Jet fan standards, which are very low. My standards for my own team are very low, to be clear. But even for my impossibly low standards, knowing how bad they are, they still managed to surprise me with how much they sucked yesterday. That really does say everything, you know? As the guy who's always trying to see the bright side, not being able to see the bright side anymore is something that, uh... I'm like, damn. I'm just like, damn. I'm just like, damn. 7 a.m. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Oh, thanks too much salt for the 46 months. There were a couple of other subs. Hang on. Thank you, happily insane, for the 55 today. Uh, if the AI kills him, though, then I still lose, even though he's not really in the game. Your base is getting at maximum supply. Finally free of those blocks. We're fine. Your ally's base is under attack. The enemy's taking fire at your forces. Easy. Your allies base is 
We got him. A well What's with the X null on the pop-up? Does it not go up as high as me and too much salt? Are we too loyal? I'm going to be honest with you, man. I got this like setup thing to be able to do that and everything. And I was like, you know, it just doesn't really seem to work very well um, with the alerts. But uh, between you and me, uh, yeah, people are talking about the alerts more than they used to. So I'm less inclined to fix it, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm like, people don't really care about the alerts normally. So I'm like, man, is that something that I really need to fix immediately? Am I in a rush to take care of that? Don't know. I just don't know, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Do you remember? All right, we leveled up twice. Boom, boom. Super Gary, we can't use him, so that's pointless. Mecha Lurker. Well, we could try to use some Mecha Lurkers, perhaps, down the line. Step Monopoly. Ooh, these are nice. Yeah, when you upgrade your, your hatchery, that helps. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. Right, having that tech unlocked helps. Well, we got two levels. Uh, despite our slow windup, was also uh, not able to have a teammate. Definitely did not make things easier for us. This has been another episode of Coffee and Co-op. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The ste Stemmon missions are so hard, I don't talk as much, because I'm, like, really trying to focus... Because you have to put so much, you have to put so much APM and everything into playing Stepman that it's just a lot harder to talk while I'm playing him. So maybe it was a mistake to do this one now, or maybe it was a blessing because we're getting it out of the way and then all the other ones are going to be easier. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, also, this, this, it doesn't, it just kind of feels like you're just kind of playing Stepman. It's like, yeah, the satellites don't get destroyed, but I don't, I don't really know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to be very engaging, if that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you liked this one. If you didn't, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't watch the next one, I guess. Peace.